Hello, my name is Gaurav and today I am going to cover this topic. Somebody asked me and the topic name is Do Designation Matter? Uh, let's begin. So this was the question that was asked whether a person, which designation they should go for. Uh, they had offers from one was Senior Software Test Engineer and one was AMS that I don't know what is AMS that. Right, and another person was like, how many years of experience it is required to be a test specialist? So let me try to give my views on this, right? So the topic for the day is like to designation or job title matters. Let's see whether it matters or whether it not based on my perspective. So what is the definition of these two things, designation or job title? A designation is an official name by which uh, we call that the person is at a certain title, right? You call someone estate, someone manager, someone lead, right? And it's generally trying to describe as well that what you do, right? If you're a developer, you must be writing code. If you're a tester, you are testing something. Do developer also do testing and tester also write automation code and they do development, right? But at the high level, you get the understanding of what they are doing. So that is the purpose of having this designation and job title. So let me tell you like some of the examples which are defining what they do. Like we know what the prime minister, uh, we read in civics, what the prime minister do, what are the their roles and responsibility and the powers they have. Similarly, CM. And similarly, these testers, software development engineer and test, test engineer. And you know more when you are there in the industry and you have heard of terms and you have friends who does these things. So you know that what exactly they are doing, right? So when they are serving the purpose, they are good. I would say that, yeah, they matter if they are telling uh, what they are doing. But there are some things which might not tell you exactly what exactly uh, they are using a generic term, right? For example, software engineer, one, two, three. So there was a question asked on, on Quora that what is the difference between these three right so sometimes these things are confusing as well but it depends like how, on the company and all like how they are designing that right and when you can't make the difference right so there are designation like testing analyst senior test test specialist so all of them uh, will appearing overlapping or things the same so there was a link that is in github that is prepared by milan and rahul so they have put down, try to add all the testing designations that people have. Like you'll see digital test analyst and agile QA. So different companies have given different names, right? Some of them might be common and some of them might be, for example, this portfolio test manager or principal quality engineering, right? So how much you should be concerned about these designation when switching jobs or uh, do they really matter right so let's come back here right so I'll, I'll give you my analysis like i just created a random data right so in some companies the hierarchy are kind of flat like you don't have much designation right you have just one two three four five kind of right so and it varies for example in one company from zero to six years people are associate consultant right but uh, they might have in between some levels or some things by which uh, their pay, pay grade and all is increasing, right? But sometimes people feel that why they are not getting promoted for say four or five years, right? So then company introduced, like some of the companies have sub roles as well. So they will give you test, then senior test, then test analyst. And sometimes this test analyst can be here, right? So there is no standard rule that uh, just like in some government, right, government uh, departments, you will find a standard or in army, they have standard rules that people will get certain designation, right? That is not there in IT industry, right? And and these are not fixed. Don't consider that you can only be a test manager once you have 14 years of experience. You can be nine years of experience based on your expertise and skills, right? And also companies try to fit this on the basis of your salary as well, right? So maybe you have less experience, but your salary is in the bracket, which should be given to a person who is having six years of experience, right? Then instead of senior test engineer, you'll get a designation test analyst also, right? So that is also one of the uh, 
one of the thing that plays a key role in what designation you are getting right and then so what matters actually so as per me the work is most important whichever company you are joining check out the work that you are doing right if i give you a sz uh, sz designation and you are not writing any code right so that's just for a fancy thing to tell people right or i'm not giving the thing that you want to do maybe you are good in performance testing and you want to pursue that and you are not getting that opportunity so don't go by the designation or the title that is given to you right because if if the work that you are doing is something different then it doesn't matter like what i'll call you even if i call you ceo of the company right and you are not doing the job of ceo or the things like that so so the work is more important than the title right because as i told you that this title will vary and most importantly this one right in some companies the the person the fresher will be called as consultant right but in some companies it's the sme right the people who you consult when you are stuck in some technical problem and all tech like technical consultant in one of the companies that i have worked that only people who are 14 15 years of experience who are expert in industry they were called as consultant right so it does not matter as uh, as per me it's the work that matters and one of the learnings that i always have is like have to do your work 30 days in a month right or 22 days saturday sunday is off right but uh, so that is most important then the designation that you are going to just put on linkedin right so just check that what is the roles and responsibilities that you have to perform instead of focusing on designation because it's not standardized right people uh, there may be some people who might judge you but i don't think that it really matters and the salary that you are getting it right uh, that whether you call software engineer 3 or 4 right the various people in various companies have decided wow. decided those designation so as per me it doesn't matter and i have copied this from that same communities as well right so somebody was telling that they have the manager designation but they are working as a lead over there so even like even if you have the designation and you are not working according to that so it doesn't matter so for me it does not matter at least in the it industry it depends that what work you are doing if you are satisfied with it i think it should be good let me know your views in the comments hope you like the video and thanks for asking that question that led me to do this so keep watching the content on the channel thank you